athletically, we can't do what we need to do without those scholarships from the Silverback Fund and that private giving sector. They're able to get an athletic scholarship, maybe even combine it with an academic scholarship to help maybe lessen that burden on their family and still be able to perform at a high level and have those opportunities that maybe they might not have been able to have before. I think you can see the direct impact because you get to know these kids and you can come to these games and you're going to get to know an Anna Dean on my team or um, Amanda's basketball players, the football players, and you're going to see them around town. And you know, our connection is just different because our community is different. We know we have something special here at Pittsburgh State and we know it's something that can create an amazing experience and we're very, very grateful for what we have. Athletically, we can't do what we need to do without those scholarships from the Silverback Fund and that private giving sector. With as many Division II schools as what we have here in our area and our region is you want to get the very best kids and so you have to put together the very best package you can. It can set us apart because we can say, hey, I know you're looking maybe between Washburn and Pittsburgh State. Here's what we can do and here's you know the things that we have here and I think just giving yourself that recruiting edge is a big deal and maybe trying to find ways to set yourself apart from all these other universities that are regionally somewhat close to us and then on a national scale too. Like People just don't understand how special it is until they walk on our campus in our community and then they walk away saying, I get it now. People need to know the impact that they have on these kids and their lives and hopefully then if they're blessed with that then they turn around one day and decide you know what I need to give back too and also kick back into that because it gave me so much.